It's 32 past 12. I'm just hoeing into some food. I'm gonna pause that for the daily vlog. I'm editing the wave from today, a wave a day autumn edition. <laughs> that food went down the wrong way. Yeah, I'm editing a wave a day from this morning, April Fool's Day, first day of April, first day of autumn. Oh no, no, sorry. First day of the middle of autumn, first day of autumn wave a day. And um, yeah, it was raining, cold, nice westerly offshore breeze, but changed to onshore during the surf. And I didn't really get anything fantastic. All the waves kind of closed out on me. Um, but it was just rad to be back out there bumping this every single day, wave a day, 2019 autumn style. Hopefully we get better conditions tomorrow. It's it's always a gamble, you know, like you you never you never know what you're gonna get. Here's my edit, by the way, if you want a sneaky peek at it. I'm not gonna show you any of the uh, wave, but um, that's the, the process. Um, yeah, a new a new month of surfing. Every day of April I'll be out there surfing. Thanks to Global Surf Industries and Art Ars and Wetsuits. What happened then? Oh my headphones fell off. I'll just put those back up. I just hang off that little latch there. Probably should put a little something at the end, otherwise they could just keep willy-nilly sliding off. But yeah, I'm pretty, pretty damn psyched to be out there doing this actually. Um, this is the conditions we had today. I'll give you a swap out there, pop it on to there. And it's just pretty overcast and crappy. But you know what? That's part of it, you know? That's, that's just life, that's just part of it. I'm pretty stoked to be able to go out there and surf, so I don't care if it's if it's sunny, if it's raining, if it's cold. Got the wetsuit, got the board. Just make the most of it, get out there and enjoy it. And it, I mean, you will see progress. That's the point, that's, that's what I'm hoping. Well, my ideal goal of this whole thing is to end up getting barreled. Now that would just be, I guess, you, I guess if I get barreled, I could probably call the whole thing off, like call it quits because I don't see myself ever, like I don't see myself ever surfing big waves, like big wave surfing. I don't ever see that happening, but I just want to get that sensation, that feeling of getting barreled, right? That's probably what most surfers aspire to. I mean, younger surfers probably aspire to the competition circuit and, and doing all that, but I just want to get a nice long barrel. And I don't think it's ever going to happen here at Colborough Beach, but you know, I'm, I mean, I'm open to go, like surf trips, surfing safaris, as it were. Who knows? Who knows what'll happen? But I mean, I'm really stoked to be out there getting fit. I'll tell you what, wearing a wetsuit and paddling, it's like paddling another half of you, you know, like the weight of a wetsuit. It's like, that's a good way to get fit. I'm really looking forward to after, so I'm doing autumn edition, then I'm doing winter edition, then I'm doing spring edition, and then obviously summer edition again. And summer edition will be back to board shorts. I'm really looking to, looking forward to seeing how fit I've got from surfing all year in a wetty. Pump, like pulling that wetsuit along the whole time is gonna obviously be, it's like lifting weights, you know, like pulling, pulling an extra amount of, like maybe 20 or 30 kilos with you when that thing's got water in it. So I'm looking forward to seeing how much, how much fitter I get. Have I had food in my teeth this whole time? I know I've got a killer zit right there. I keep scratching it. That's one that I scratch at night. At night, I feel like I've had food right in my teeth the whole time. Yeah, I always scratch.